Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome back. Welcome back and welcome to all you intermediate listeners to class number one. Yes, welcome to English 4.0, the radio show. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope some of you beginner listeners are still tuned in. I hope some of the beginners are still listening because you can always benefit from more exposure to English. And also, I hope that some advanced people are listening as well, because you can always benefit. But we're going to start today, our first intermediate class, practicing with something that's really quite simple. In fact, we call it, it's so simple that we call it the simple past. Yeah, the simple past, it's a very easy tense. It's a very easy tense, and you're following along Please make sure that you're always following along at home in your student guide. And so here we are in 1.1. We are looking at some specific verbs, okay? We have the verb to check. Comprobar. To check. Okay? Note the, the strong K there. To check. To ask. Also with a strong K. Ask. To play. Jugar. To play. To work. Trabajar, to call, llamar, and to book. Once again, with the strong K sound, to book. Okay? So here, I will give you a sentence in the present, and I would like you to give me the same sentence in the past. Okay? No problem. No problem. So, these are all regular verbs. So, it's very easy. What we're doing is adding the ED ending. But what we will see is that the pronunciation is not always the same. Let's try a few examples, and then I'll explain what I mean. So, every day I ask, and yesterday I asked, okay? Siempre en voz alta en casa, always aloud at home. Yesterday I asked. So, I will say, every day I ask, and you can say, and yesterday I asked. Every day I check the mail. Every day I check the mail. Yesterday, I checked the mail. Very good. Muy bien. Every week, I play football. Every week, I play football. Last week, I played. I played football. Every day, I work. I work in the office. And yesterday, I worked in the office. Okay. Pronunciation. What? Yeah, that's right, folks. Pronunciation. Pay attention here. I want to mention the pronunciation of verbs ending in K, like check, ask, book, work. Now, these regular verbs, when we say them in the past, we say, we pronounce it like a T sound. So we say, checked, checked, checked. So we have different types of regular verbs. In terms of the pronunciation, we have some verbs like check. Today I check, yesterday I checked. We are not adding an extra syllable, but we're forcing that T sound onto the verb, okay? Make sure you're, you're repeating this at home aloud, in voz alta. Today I check, yesterday I checked. I want to hear that T, I checked. Every day I ask, yesterday I asked. Very good. And work, every day I work, yesterday I worked, okay? Good. We have other verbs like play that becomes played, where we can really hear the D. It's definitely a clear D sound. I played. Okay? I call. Yesterday I called. Okay? So we have different types of regular verbs, some that receive a T sound in the past, others that receive 
a D sound, and others that get an extra syllable. Now, we'll talk about those verbs that get an extra syllable another day. Basically, I can, I can give you a little preview here, and you can know that verbs that, re regular verbs that end in a T or D require an extra syllable in the, in the past, like to add numbers. Yesterday, I added. Today, I add. Uh, add. Yesterday, I added. Uh, uh, two syllables, added. But other than that, if the verb doesn't end in a T or D sound, then we must not add an extra syllable in the past. But the conjugation, when we write the words, is very, very simple. We're adding an ED to these regular verbs. So let's practice a little bit more. Every week, I call my mother. And at home, last week, I called. I called my mother. Very good. Every Christmas, I book a flight to Canada. Last Christmas, I booked. That's right, with the T sound. Well done. Good job. Muy bien. Siempre en voz alta en casa, por favor. Okay, más. Vamos a ver más. Every day, I check the sports scores. Every day, I check the sports scores. Yesterday, at home, I, I checked. I checked the sports scores. Very good. Every day, I ask my friends for help. Yesterday, I asked. So the T sound, we're hearing that T sound. Yesterday, I asked my friends for help. Every winter, every winter, everyone in the studio is going to laugh at me now because I say this all the time. Uh, every winter, I play hockey. I play ice hockey. And last winter, I played. Played. So no extra syllable. But I played hockey, ice hockey, okay? Every day I work hard. It's true, isn't it, Iker? I work hard every day. He's saying yes. Every day I work hard. Yesterday, I worked. I worked hard. Every week I call my friends, okay? Every week I call my friends. Last week I called the D sound. Every week I book a restaurant, Every week, I book a restaurant. Last week, I booked. I booked a restaurant. Okay, now let's change from the past back to the present. Okay, yesterday, he checked the weather. The, the good news here is that the conjugation is always the same for me, I, you, he, she, the simple past is just that. It's very simple. Yesterday, he checked the weather. So in the present, today, or every day, at home, he checks. He checks the weather. Very good. Yesterday, he asked for help. Every day, he asks for help. Yesterday, I played bingo. Yesterday, I played bingo. It's true. Every day, I play bingo. Not every day. Maybe every year, I play bingo. Last year, I worked with him. This year, I work. I work with him. Last week, I called my mother. Last week, I called my mother. Every week, I call my mother. Last week, I booked a restaurant. At home, every week, I book a restaurant. Word of the day. All right, yes, it's time for the word of the day. We have an adjective today, a an adjective. How do you say, in English, resbaladizo? A surface, like ice. I was talking about ice a moment ago, ice hockey, ice. Ice is very resbaladizo, slippery, slippery, we say, slippery, slippery. So that's our word of the day, slippery. Ice is very slippery. Wet roads can be very slippery. All right. Now we're going to practice with the past tense negative uh, where we'll see the auxiliary verb didn't. 
We'll see the auxiliary verb didn't. So the good news is that it doesn't change. So we say, for example, I didn't check. You didn't check. He didn't check. She didn't check. Alberto didn't check. They didn't check. We didn't check. Iker didn't check. The boss didn't check. It's always the same. Didn't. Didn't. Always the same. You see, English is easy. It's very easy. It's always the same in this case, right? So I'll say things that I usually do, and I'd like you to say that I didn't do them yesterday. For example, I usually call my friends. I usually call my friends, but I didn't call them yesterday. I usually call my friends, but I didn't call them yesterday. I usually check the sports scores. I usually check the sports scores, but I didn't check them yesterday. I usually ask a lot of questions. Okay, at home, siempre en voz alta, por favor. I usually ask a lot of questions, but I didn't ask a lot of questions yesterday. He usually plays loud music. He usually plays loud music, but he didn't play loud music yesterday. Alberto usually works in the radio studio, but he didn't work in the radio studio yesterday. I usually call my mother on Sundays, but I didn't call her last Sunday. Hmm. The boss usually books dinners at nice restaurants. The verb to book there. The boss usually books dinners at nice restaurants, but he didn't book a dinner at a nice restaurant last week. Hmm. I don't know why. My best students usually check their answers, but they didn't check their answers last time. My students usually work hard, but they didn't work hard last time. I usually work on Mondays. Y en casa? But I didn't work last Monday. Okay, no problem. It's always the same. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Okay, very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, did you hear that? Yes, it's time for the vocabulary of the day. So we'll take a little pause from our lesson for the vocabulary of the day. The first word today is averia, averia, which is breakdown, breakdown. So we can have a car, a car can break down on the highway. A car can break down. We say, we, we had a breakdown. The car broke down on the highway. Hmm. Okay, now we have criterio, which in English we say criteria. Criteria. Now be careful with the pronunciation. We say cry, not cri, but cry, like ojo, I, I. Criteria. Criteria. Okay, muy bien. Y ahora, motor. In English, En casa, engine, S-O-S, engine, engine. We also have the, mo we can say the motor, but in a car we say the engine, the engine. Get the engine running, okay? Directriz, directriz. Guideline, bueno, directrices, guidelines, guidelines. We have to follow. We use the verb to follow guidelines. We have to follow the guidelines. And finally, política. Policy. Policy. What is your policy? Okay. Very good. Very good. Now we're quickly going to practice something very important, which is people are. People are. People are. Never people is. Always. People are. Are. Okay, so uh, the people, the people in Scotland are, what, what nationality? The people in Scotland are Scottish. What nationality are the people in Norway? The people in Norway are Norwegian. Norwegian, that's right. The people in Germany, in Germany, the people in Germany are 
German. That's right. Siempre en voz alta en casa. Always. Out loud at home. So the, the, if the people in Germany are German, what about the people in Holland? Well, the people in Holland are Dutch. And what about the people in Canada? The people in Canada are friendly. <laughs> That's right. The people in Canada are friendly. The people in Canada are Canadian. Okay. The people in the United States, we say, are American. The people in Venezuela are Venezuelan. The people in Venezuela are Venezuelan. Okay. And the people in Australia? The people in Australia? The people in Australia are Australian. Okay, always. People are. People are. Perfect. Good job. So what about the people in Spain? The people in Spain are Spanish. So be careful. We never say the people in Spain are uh, uh, Spanish. No. The people in Spain are Spanish. The people in Spain are Spanish. And in Portugal? In both alta? The people in Por Portugal are Portuguese. The people in Portugal are Portuguese. Okay. And the people in Sweden. Sweden. Not Switzerland, but Sweden. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Stockholm, Sweden. The people in Sweden are Swedish. Very good. The people in Sweden are Swedish. Okay, we're just about out of time. Do you remember the word of the day? Resbalerizo. Slippery. Slippery. Muy bien. Muy bien hecho en casa. Good job today. Keep studying. I'm going to leave you for now. We're going to go on to the advanced class. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.